Yeah, one stands out for sure to me. Uh, we represented a family. Their uh, mother, she was, I believe, 60, 62 years old, driving down the turnpike. Uh, she was headed to the lake for the weekend to meet her family. And a truck driver, broad daylight, no weather, he just ran over six cars. And usually you think in a deal like that, the first car this 18 wheeler hits would be the worst damage, but that's not what happened. It was sort of like a bowling ball hitting those pins. The first five cars kind of spun off to the side. The sixth car was our client and she's driving a very large SUV, but I mean, it lined up perfectly. And an ongoing trucker actually, we found later video, we had it on tape and her car flew up in the air. Uh, it shortened her car uh, about half to what it used to be, it shortened it half. It was an incredible impact. And she did not die instantly. And the Highway Patrol trooper showed up and, and we actually had people doing CPR on her lying there beside the road. It was just the most tragic event. And this truck driver, we were able to take his deposition. Um, first, they claimed we had to get an interpreter because he didn't speak English. Well, it's good to know those federal rules. You can't get a, a federal interstate uh, license where you can drive like they require you to drive unless you speak and read English. So after pointing that out to him, suddenly he reacquired the ability to actually speak English. We didn't need the interpreter anymore. All this is on a videotape deposition, by the way. And this guy just got caught in so many lies. He was under tremendous pressure. He ended up testifying to get that produce he was hauling from California to the East Coast. And he was, you know, faking the logs, speeding. And he just had a probably a moment of fatigue. And I think he just kind of went half asleep. And that's why he ran over six cars. We were able to determine uh, it was a fly-by-night company he had formed, you know, a company and then he got in trouble. So he formed another one. This guy was actually operating this company out of his home. The real key to the case was he was being hired by a much larger company to haul his produce. But there was no way to know that. It didn't have the larger company's name on the truck. In fact, it, the other company that hired them wasn't even on the accident report. We had to do a lot of work to finally find the involvement of this third company. So after we dug and got that, we found out they had a lot more than just a minimal insurance policy. And we were able to present that family who lost their mother. It was five kids, uh, you know, a wonderful, loving husband. And they lost their loved one all because of just greed. And we were able to demonstrate all that and got one of the largest settlements. I can't tell you the amount because it's confidential and sealed up. And obviously I can't tell you who it was, but uh, it was one of the, the largest settlements in, in history in Oklahoma on a case of its kind. And I've become personal friends with this family and stayed in touch with them. And, you know, handling a case like that uh, where you uncover the truth that was being hidden, it, it's very satisfying.